Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video today, we are gonna be answering the question, is Christmas pagan? Does it have its roots in Roman paganism? And if so, should we celebrate it? I love the Christmas season. I got the Yule log going on in the background and I made some videos that have inspired this video. And the videos that I made is, is uh, the reasons why Jesus came to earth. And some people have commented on my TikTok as well as some of the YouTube shorts, basically telling me not to make these videos because Jesus wasn't born on December 25th and I'm leading people astray. It's ridiculous, but I wanna address some of these things. I, I want us to consider the history and I'm, I'm in um, a different room today. I'm not in my office, so I don't have multiple cameras and I'm not doing a reaction video. I'm just simply teaching history. And for us to look at theology, Christian ethics is part of theology. And it is a Christian ethical question when we have to ask a question like, should we do this? That's Christian ethics. And Christian ethics is involved in the realm of theology. So one, I want to answer the question, is Christmas from Roman paganism? Now, it is true that there was a there was a couple dates on the Roman calendar during the Christmas season or during the month of December I should say before Christmas was a thing was a thing December 17th was the celebration of the Roman god of Saturn and this day was called Saturnalius and this was a day where sexual immorality was celebrated drunkenness was participated in now, there are some hints of people might have been charitable on, the, on this day. They might have given to charity or helped someone pay their rent or given. But overall, it was a day for immorality to celebrate that in honor of the god of Saturn, Saturnalia. And then in, two, in AD 270, around there, there was a Roman emperor by the name of um, Aurelian. Now, Aurelian... Um, he chose a day, December 25th, called Sol Invictus to mark the end of winter solstice. So now we have these two Roman days that some, because these are two Roman days around the, the time that we celebrate Christmas, some people believe that we have it, our roots in uh, Roman paganism. Now, I just want to say this, that some people believe that we're worshiping the god of Saturn, because we're celebrating Christmas on December 25th. I, I, now, I, I, this, that's just so annoying. Go tell your neighbor, hey, do you know that you're celebrating the God of Saturn? I guarantee you they'll have no idea what you're talking about. It's incredibly unfair and ignorant and arrogant to tell people that they're celebrating something that they have no idea or worshiping something that they have no idea about. I worship Jesus. I don't worship the God of Saturn. I've worshipped Jesus before I even knew there was a God of Saturn that Romans worshipped. Stop doing that. If you're one of those people, stop doing that. It's unfair. You lack integrity and you come off as a religious person. Um, and that's not a good thing. And when I say religious person, uh, and I'm saying with a negative connotation, not in a positive light in this context. So, is it true that Jesus was not born on December 25th? Yes, he was not born on December 25th. Luke chapter 2 provides us with evidence. In Luke chapter 2, we get the sheep, we get the shepherds tending to their flock at night, tending to the sheep at night. And the angel, um, an angel of the Lord comes and announces to them the birth of the Christ. Brings them good news, tidings, great joy to all people. He announces the, the coming of, he announces the king of Israel to lowly shepherds. Now, this, if this was done in the winter, this most likely, the sheep, the shepherds will most likely wouldn't have been outside at night because it would have been too cold. So it's most likely during the springtime. At the same time, we've got to recognize that Luke's not trying to be, um, could, not, trying to teach us about the, the calendar here. He's doing theology. He's teaching, he's making th known this event to make a theological point that Jesus, that the announcement of Jesus doesn't come to kings doesn't come to rulers. It's coming to lowly shepherds. It's not coming to, and sure, it went to Agrippa. Sure, it went to Agrippa. But, but what Luke is doing here also is showing that the gospel, that the king has come even for lowly people like, th like them, dirty, lowly people like shepherds, people that nobody would have cared about in society. Jesus comes for them. Secondly, evidence that Jesus wasn't born on December 25th 
um, comes from the early church fathers, Irenaeus. Irenaeus was a early church father about 130 to 200 AD. Really, that's pretty, that's like less than, that's about over 100 years after the resurrection of Jesus, pretty close to the, the, uh, the apostles. He's known for refuting Gnosticism. Now, Gnosticism is the belief that that uh, the flesh is bad. Uh, what the Gnostics taught was that Jesus didn't come in the flesh. He only appeared to come in the flesh. And that's heretical because uh, that's against Christmas. Christmas is the claim is that God became a man in flesh. And we celebrate Christmas for that reason. And so he refuted Gnosticism. Tertullian is also another church father that spoke a little bit about in this matter. And he's known for refuting Sabellianism. He's known for coining the term ter- Trinity. Now, Sabellianism is equivalent to the modern heresy of one is Pentecostal or one is Apostolics today, that God is one person, not three persons. He exists in three different modes. Tertullian refuted that. And then you got Origen of Alexandria. Origen of Alexandria was later on after his death deemed a heretic because of his views on the ranking system of the Trinity. He didn't see it as equality, but different in ranks. Um, But all these three theologians believed and mocked uh, the Roman celebrations in December. And so we know, based upon this time, that most likely Jesus wasn't born, or the, the, the birth of Jesus wasn't necessarily of interest during this time, as early as this time. And so he mocked these celebrations. So most likely Jesus, the so most likely Christmas wasn't celebrated because of these Roman holidays, because these Christian theologians mocked these Roman celebrations. Furthermore, Clement of Alexandria, he's the first one to show, to kind of give us some interest about the birth of Jesus. And he is a Christian philosopher, theologian. He did a lot of work in in Christian philosophy, 200 AD, around that time. And he shows us a first interest in the talks about Jesus possibly being born on December 25th. And this is a quote from him. Uh, There are those who have determined not only the year of our Lord's birth, but also the day. And they say that it took place in the 28th year of Augustus and in the 28th day of the Egyptian month, Pekon, which would be May 20 in our calendar. So he even admits that most likely Jesus wasn't born in on December 25th during the winter season, during the time we celebrate it. So clearly there was some uncertainty as early as the third century. Clearly there's some uncertainty about Jesus' birth, but there, show, there is some interest in the third century about when Jesus was born. Now we get kind of the first time where Jesus is being remembered. Christmas is being celebrated. The birth of Jesus is being remembered. Christmas is being c- celebrated on December 25th. And historically this comes from the Donatists. Now the Donatists, um, ha- the Donatists were known in the fourth century, about hundred years after Clement, fourth century, 300 AD time period. And there's persecution within Rome against Christians. Now, the Donatists were a particular, particular cultish group of Christians. Now, I don't want to identify them as Christians because they were a cultish group. They started celebrating Christmas December 25th. They started celebrating Jesus' birth on December 25th. Now, what they believed, the Donatists, the Donatists believed that it was important to practice um, asceticism. Now, asceticism was doing the best to purge yourself from fleshly desires. And they believed that holiness, practicing asceticism, gained you favor with God. And of course, that is works-based salvation. We know that Romans chapter 3 says, works of the law will not give us, justify us before God, but it's only by on the basis of faith in Christ that we're justified. We're justified by faith in Christ not based upon works, but the Donatists believed otherwise. So there's a, they're kind of a heretical group, but they first started celebrating it. It says on the first date listed, December 25th is the day marked Natus Christus in Bethlehem, Judea. Christ was born in Bethlehem, Judea. Um, and so that's, that's where we get this kind of belief where Christmas might have been celebrated or the celebration of uh, Jesus might have been born on December 25th. Now, first, Clearly, in history, Jesus is not born on December 25th. But the Donatists provide evidence of it, the, the beginnings of it possibly being celebrated on this day. So clearly, clearly, and if you're seeing value from this video, like it and subscribe to this channel. Clearly, Jesus wasn't born on December 25th. Furthermore, 
Christmas doesn't have, a, doesn't have its roots in Roman paganism. No evidence. Just because there are dates around, just because there are holidays around the time we celebrate Christmas, doesn't necessitate that we borrowed from those. Is it possible that Christians might have redeemed those days early on in history? Um, it could be, because when Constantine became emperor, he was the first professing Christian emperor. Um, there are Christians that wanted to redeem certain holidays, no longer practice paganism, and trying to do it. But overall, there's no evidence to say that that's actually part of what happened in the history of Christmas. Furthermore, I, if Christians are convicted and do not, or convinced that that Christmas is paganism. I'm sorry if you can hear me. My son just woke up from his nap and he's yelling. If you can hear that, sorry. But the, the mic might mask that. But if you're, if you're a Christian and you're convinced, don't celebrate Christmas. Don't do it. And this is the principle from Romans chapter 14. But if, don't tell other people not to celebrate it in their sinning, if, they're, if they do. That's legalism, that's pharisaicalism, that's the belief that you're justified by works creeping into the church. Don't do that. But if you're a Christian and you want to celebrate it, remember, tell people that it's about Jesus. Tell people that we celebrate, sure, Jesus may not have been born December 25th, but we celebrate the fact that God became a man to be God with us. Matthew chapter 21, Matthew chapter 1, 21 says that Jesus came to save us from our sins. This is the time for us to remember that God has come. The Messiah has come. And this is good news for God's people. Good news for the world, for all those who will believe by faith in Jesus. Christmas is a heightened time where we put our focus on the coming of our Savior, God becoming man. If you receive value from this video, like it and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in a future video. Thanks for checking out the video today. Feel free to ask any question you want in the comment section below, or you can simply comment and provide your perspective. Also, don't forget to like this video so that it'll boost up the algorithm so we can reach a broader audience and subscribe to this channel. Feel free to check out one of these videos. I believe they'll provide value to your life as well. And I'll see you next time.